Walking through the case plant in Pithampur, India, I could feel the legacy of over 180 years of innovation and durability surrounding me. This facility, built in 1989 and set on 40 acres, is more than just a manufacturing site. It's a powerhouse of precision engineering. The sheer scale of operations here, right from the raw material docks where components undergo rigorous physical and chemical testing to the bustling fabrication shop, is impressive. I learned that this plant is one of Case's eight global manufacturing hubs, serving not only the fast-growing Indian market, but also exporting equipment to over 75 countries worldwide. Entering the fabrication shop, I got a first-hand look at the precision that goes into each step. Laser cutting ensures each piece meets exacting standards, preserving the metal's integrity for the challenges it'll face in the field. From there, I watched as automated bending machines formed components with smooth, true-to-design finishes, and welders, both manual and robotic, fused these pieces with consistent, robust joints. In the paint shop, skilled technicians and automated systems work together to add the final touches. Each component gets an even, weather-resistant coating that's both vibrant and durable. These parts are then carefully stored in a massive 8,000 square meter warehouse, ready for seamless assembly on one of three dedicated lines. Standing by the assembly lines was awe-inspiring. With around 4,000 quality checkpoints, these lines produce crawler excavators, loader backhoes, and vibratory compactors, all designed for reliability and performance. I stopped at the loader backhoe line, where Case's famous axle is installed with precision, and hydraulics are tested thoroughly. Every 16 minutes, a new backhoe loader rolls off this line, a testament to Case's efficiency and craftsmanship. I even heard about a recent milestone, the 50,000th loader backhoe produced here in 2022. Then there was the crawler excavator line, which is equipped with advanced tech for aligning and assembling components weighing up to eight tons, a fascinating sight to witness. And on the vibratory compactor line, I saw the meticulous testing and installation of insulating pads to maximize operator comfort. While cases, machinery, and tools are state of the art, I came away with a deeper appreciation for the company's dedication to listening to its customers, which truly drives the innovation and refinement of their equipment. This plant is a remarkable blend of tradition, technology, and forward thinking that brings Case's world-class construction machines to life. As a visitor to the Hitachi Construction Machinery Factories in the Netherlands, I was able to tour both of their impressive facilities in Amsterdam and Oosterhout. These factories are dedicated to producing mini and compact excavators, and you can really sense the skill and pride of the teams here. In Amsterdam, around 300 employees are hard at work, while another 100 staff members are based in Oosterhout. Each employee wears distinctive badges on their caps, 
which show off their areas of expertise, whether it's forklift operations, excavation machinery, emergency response, or leadership roles. The Amsterdam site is massive, covering over 50,000 square meters. It houses two factories, Factory A, a 30,000 square meter space for assembling excavators, and Factory B, a 20,000 square meter facility for producing components. The two factory setup allows them to carry out a smooth, lean manufacturing process. In Factory A, they put together custom excavators, adding attachments, undercarriages, and other modifications to fit specific customer needs. Meanwhile, Factory B focuses on crafting components like the frames and lift arms for wheel loaders. One of the highlights here is seeing the advanced welding technology in action. Components start with tack welding and move to either manual or ro robotic welding, depending on the part. The robotic welders have built-in smoke extraction, which keeps the air cleaner for the workers. After welding, experienced welders inspect each component carefully to ensure it meets Hitachi's standards before moving to the paint line. In the paint area, the parts are carefully prepped, sanded, filed, and kept free from dust, which is especially important to protect the hydraulic systems. After priming with epoxy and adding a top coat, components are checked under bright LED lighting. This lighting is automated to save energy while helping inspectors make sure the paint quality is flawless. The assembly line in Factory A is especially impressive. Here, upper excavator structures from Japan are combined with undercarriages that can be customized with options like extra lighting, mirrors, and specialized track shoes. Small carts carry parts efficiently around the floor, saving time and making it easier for workers to access what they need. I was impressed by the care taken to ensure quality and durability in every detail. For example, they use specially calibrated equipment to tighten bolts on the swing bearings, which not only guarantees the right torque, but also makes work easier for the staff. During assembly, they cover machines to prevent scratches and damage, and the team has even designed a device to prevent hydraulic cylinders from touching painted surfaces. It's part of a culture of continuous improvement, encouraged through their Kaizen program, where employees can suggest new ideas for the production process. I also noticed specialized training areas where employees practice welding, assembly, and painting, ensuring their skills remain top-notch. Before any excavator leaves the facility, it goes through an intense final testing phase. They check hydraulic pressure, speed, and for any potential leaks, ensuring everything performs perfectly. A final inspection gives each machine the green light for delivery, and in just two to four weeks, these excavators are on their way to customers across Europe. It was fascinating to see how Hitachi construction machinery combines innovative technology with skilled craftsmanship, setting a high standard in the industry. During my visit to Komatsu UK Litted in Burtley, near Newcastle in Northeast England, I was able to see firsthand 
one of the Komatsu Group's key production facilities for construction and mining equipment. It's truly impressive to witness their dedication to building high-quality, reliable machines. Since hitting a significant milestone in 2014, the production of their 60,000th unit, the team here has continued to push boundaries with their innovative equipment. This site, stretching over an enormous 202,400 square meters, has produced over 1,100 units annually since it was established in 1985. It's easy to see why Komatsu UK holds multiple certifications, including ISO 4501, ISO 9001, and ISO 14001, underscoring their commitment to quality, safety, and environmental responsibility. The PC360 LC NLC11 hydraulic excavator particularly caught my eye. It's fast, powerful, and precise with a Komatsu EU Stage Vive engine that significantly cuts down on fuel consumption. Along with Komatsu's top-tier comfort, 3G communications, and advanced safety features, this machine offers fast responsiveness and exceptional productivity. Here are some impressive specs. Up to 5% lower fuel consumption, auto idle shutdown, neutral detection system, engine power 202 271 kilo hp bucket capacity 2.66 millisquores digging depth 8.18 meters operating weight 35.8 to 36.9 t what's remarkable is that the engine hydraulic system and electrical system are entirely developed by komatsu ensuring excellent fuel efficiency additionally comtrax technology enhances fuel management making this excavator even more efficient